today is a little bit of a busy one. I also have just dropped my camera, so I'm hoping this is okay. If things are a little bit out of focus, that's why, but I'm praying that it is okay because I have some really big things to film today, so if you could just please hold out, <laughs> that would be great. You can always trust me to drop the vital piece of equipment at the worst time. I didn't technically drop it because I'm not that clumsy, but it slid off my bedside table. We are getting ready this morning. We're doing full glam really, really, really early in the day. Christmas party week is in full force right now. I actually had one the other day for GHD, which I got the most minimal vlog footage of. It was a bit of a crazy day. I had brand lunches and then a shoot, and then I had to go straight from shooting to that event. So it was all a bit of a whirlwind. Today is also kind of gonna be the same, except it's just one thing that I'm doing today and I'm also shooting a campaign around that as well. But really, really exciting. I also feel very nervous for this one because there are some aspects of this which are completely out of my control and that's not my vibe. I'm not the most organized human in the world, but when it comes to things like this, every detail is normally accounted for. And there are some details today that are not accounted for, which is like the one of the biggest parts of the entire shoot, campaign, evening, and that is what I'm wearing. <laughs> but it is really exciting because I'm just gonna tell you now, like we don't need the surprises. I may be wearing Victor and Rolf Couture. I can't believe those words just came out of my mouth. But the issue being in the fashion industry is that the brands have like normally just like, I think one of each item and it's in one size and they'll just for shoots and things, they'll just clip it. Stylists can like, I don't know how they do it because I'm not a stylist, but they have little hacks on how to take things in without completely like deconstructing and altering the dress. I have no idea how they do these things. Um, but yeah, so it's on loan. I will not be keeping like a big, couture dress in my wardrobe so sample size is the issue here and um never have i ever fitted into a sample size anything so yeah i, d I don't have a fashion body so this is going to be a very interesting day i think there might be two dresses for me to try or maybe just one i'm not sure i think there might be two but i do have backups in case they don't fit because I obviously cannot go to this event not wearing any clothing. They're very different vibes. So I can't do full makeup and full hair until I know because the dresses are quite drastically different. Until I know what dress I'm wearing, I can't fully do hair and makeup. So I've just put a wave through my hair because then if I do like an updo, it just sits better into like, if you do like a bun or an up, any kind of updo, uh, curls tend to sit quite nicely but then if I leave it like just down and like tucked back it still has like mo it will still have movement by this evening it won't have like this full glossy wave but it will have like some swish to it which I personally prefer with my hair this length better than dead straight so yeah I can't do full hair can't do full makeup either because uh number one we don't want to do that because I have six seven eight hours until this event but travel and shoot all included in that i need to get ready now i have about two hours until i need to leave so that is plenty of time for doing glam um, and then i just need to like pack all my suitcase up and get out the door i'm gonna do some half glam this morning i'm gonna start off with the rare beauty primer this is a really gorgeous primer very like uh what's the word uh smoothing but also makes things last a long time but also photographs like incredibly well i love this primer i discovered it earlier in the year and i think it might be my favorite one ever i really like the armani one as well and i've been using that a lot recently um but this is like i, I just know how it photographs it's stunning i'm gonna do that and then hopefully my makeup will last really well as well but i will probably top things up whilst i am at hotel shooting as well so yeah today is gonna be interesting i just i'm not very good at like surprises and not really knowing like how the day is i try and like pre-plan as, as real anxiety girl over here um i like to try and pre-plan as much as physically possible um as to how what my day looks like and i like envision it 
and go through it and then I can like troubleshoot any issues that come up um, but I can't do that when I especially with like this outfit so my suitcase is like it's a medium suitcase and it's basically full of all of the different kinds of underwear you could need steamers tripods like it's the, the weirdest like overnight case I've ever packed um different things for like trying to clip me in like several different hair tools all the different hair stuff that I could possibly need and normally I know exactly what I'm doing so I just pack exactly what I need but I have to pack like all sorts now I've got all the skims in there in case these uh items of clothing are just like not going it's gonna be an interesting day and I'm excited to bring you along with me I just think it'll be a really fun day um even if it doesn't all work out and I did want to just fully vlog all of my festive shenanigans this week but I didn't get the chance to um, do that the other day but better late than never and then I also have like a family Christmas party this weekend uh, which I might take you along to if we have time. Set of Vive brushes, I keep my other brushes in as well but this box is actually so handy. I'm very obsessed with it. So yeah I'm just going to start off with a little bit of the Armani Luminous Silk and I really hope that it matches. I'm not sure, but okay, not the worst. I'm going in with a light layer, so I'm hoping it will blend out. Um, but I actually did a shoot the other day and I used the Hourglass foundation that I bought, I think in my last vlog, um, but it didn't photograph the best so it's like a perfect match for my skin like in real life but on camera it just didn't really work out all that well but this one i think is this is really nice it blends out like perfectly and just kind of i think it kind of adds a little bit of color as well which is always good so that's the armani luminous silk in the shade 5.5 which is what i actually did used to use so i'm <laughs> nothing if not consistent yeah that looks so nice got a good feeling about this and i've just done a really light layer like lots of it's still on the back of my hand so we're just gonna do like light fresh glam and build i might speed this up a little bit because i don't want to take up our whole day on makeup but maybe this weekend i'll film a full tutorial on my go-to like festive glam so we can like properly sit down and chat makeup there's also going to be a lot of things that i do uh in this makeup routine that probably aren't really essential so i'm gonna get this makeup on and i'll catch up with you in a little bit Oh yes, I love it. Yeah. I love the way you've left like little yeah. bits out. It's so cute. I think it makes it look more like, you know, less what right. Oh, that was quick, nice. Chris. It was quick. Perfect. <laughs> okay, amazing. <laughs> and then I'll just curl these little yeah, bits when I get to my room. Nice. Oh, love you. Thank you. Oh Can I vlog you? Yeah. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Show us your princess hair. Hello. Oh, look at that. Chris is just on a single yeah. dream. Hi, Chris. Hello. How are you doing? <laughs> Can't wait for us to get into our gowns, babe. No. Me too. It is dress time. Yeah. 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 yeah, There we go. They just needed me pushing it in. It's like little scene here. It's so like tough to get it over there. Oh, thank you so much.
fits. <gasps> she fits. Wow. Honey. Oh, serious. Like an I just did. It. Now I understand what you what you are experiencing when yeah. you do this. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Oh, you look absolutely goddess like. Oh, it's like a mermaid dress. Yeah, oh, it's so pretty. Beautiful. You look beautiful. Very, very nice. Thanks, guys. And I love this hair and makeup as well with it. Absolutely beautiful. I feel so good now. Anyway. My <laughs> you guys, I'm ready. I, I, I'm actually amazed that I'm in this dress. Like, oh, this is incredible. It's like a mermaid dress. So this is like Victor and Rolf Couture, which is something I never ever thought I'd be wearing, but oh my God, it's literally so gorgeous. It basically, it's not meant to have a train, but I have a train <laughs> because it's a little bit long, but that's fine. That can't be helped. I'm literally wearing my highest heels. Um, yeah, but this is, this is the look. Crested my hair, I love it, it's so cute. I kind of showed him an inspo image and he just like smashed it, I'm so happy. And I've gone for a little one glove, all of their um, runway photos, they have like one glove. So I've gone for that as well. We are just pulling up to the dinner. I'm so excited, we've just finished shooting. Honestly, I can't wait for you to see this. I think it's gonna be incredible. Oh my God, you guys, look at this tree. Stunning. Look. Oh my god, you guys, look at Victoria's dress. She's a real life Christmas tree. This is stunning. Oh, it even glitters. Oh my god. You guys, I'm all about this menu. This starter was so good. I cannot wait for the main. Oh my god, it looks so good, doesn't it? So good. Just touching Flair's bag. Oh my god, they just, can I vlog you? They don't make this anymore. It's just, no, you can't get it. It's stunning. I haven't used this in so long. It's still my all-time favorite bag. I've ever. As it should be. It's stunning. Uh, hi, baby. I don't make them anymore. I know, they're so gorgeous. <laughs> We've been joined by someone. <laughs> Look at her, doing a little shuffle. <laughs> An absolute princess. I'm gliding on her. Gliding, yeah, go on, give us a glide. Go on, honey. Oh, oh, there she go. Oh, look at that. Look at her go. <laughs> it was, no, that was a fantastic glide. I loved it. <laughs> yeah this is it's in this one so you guys this is obviously victoria's campaign which is incredible and then if you wait for it this is a girl this girl that's my dress that's my dress that's my dress i'm wearing that right now oh my gosh you guys i don't even know what content i got this evening i have no idea what you guys have seen this is the thing when you're filming for Instagram content and then you're also filming for YouTube content because you've got, I don't know what I've touched, but my hands are a really funny color. You don't know what you have for what. So I have no idea how much footage I've got. I hope I got a good enough amount, but honestly, I had the most fun. Like today is just, today has been crazy. I am so, Oops, sorry, I'm just making a lot of noise with my little skincare pouch. I can't, I can't even fa fathom the fact that I wore this dress tonight. Like, I don't even want to think about how much this dress is worth. It kind of freaks me out a little bit. It's incredible. Like, I've never worn something so beautiful in my life. I probably never will again. I don't think my wedding dress will probably be like as stunning as this dress. It's just incredible. It's got like, it's, it's like a glitter on the inside, but not like a glitter, like a grim, like scratchy glitter. Like it feels so soft. It's just stunning. It like reminds me of like, it's a real like, mermaid dress. And then it's got this gorgeous 
bow which is also like fully like the detail then goes into the mermaid skirt it's just stunning absolutely stunning i feel so blessed to have been able to wear this dress and it was just really sweet that the victor and rolf team offered this to me because it's obviously i don't know if you've seen the campaign imagery for victoria's victor and rolf campaign which is obviously stunning the dress i think was made her dress was made for her so it fits her perfectly which is just incredible um but this is one of the dresses that the like friends in the campaign wore and i had the choice of both dresses i went with this one um i felt like it felt a little bit more me it also i don't think it's designed to be a like train but obviously on me it has a little bit of a train but the other dress was like full ball gown and it was just going to be way too long realistically so i do think this worked out but being so much better because it was just slightly less of a logistical nightmare to wear so i could like carry it when i was walking and it didn't like scrape across like the street and stuff like that when I was getting into cars so that was fine but the other one I think would have been quite tricky in hindsight it's actually quite a blessing in disguise that I didn't end up with a full ball gown which is kind of what we were originally like discussing I'm just so happy with it um lots of people have said today that green is my color I never really would have thought it but I do end up wearing a lot of green which is kind of weird as well but yeah I never ever ever would have thought that I can't is my makeup still on my face I, who even knows at this point I can't wait to get this off my face i was stressing so much doing my makeup like not in the morning like the makeup we did together fine absolutely fine but when you're like on a time crunch like my room just wasn't ready very kindly victoria let me get ready in her room and my dress was in there with the team anyway and i was just stressing so bad like i was trying to get full slashes on i was really struggling so i really haven't done full slashes a lot in the last couple of years so i find them super difficult now um i started off with individuals and oh that was a terrible idea yeah it was all just a bit off and i was kind of really struggling with that but luckily the lovely chris did do my hair which took a huge weight off of my mind and i just think it looks so pretty i'm i'm gonna hopefully just leave it tonight and see how it looks because it's kind of messy so I'm hoping it'll look okay in the morning. However, we do have a sticky up bit here. I might need to pin that down. Oh, are these lashes gonna, wow, this glue. The duo glue is strong, oh my God. The event was stunning, absolutely stunning. It was at One Marlow Bone, which is one of my favorite event places. The last time I was there actually was when uh, I was there for the Blogosphere Magazine Awards and I won Influencer of the Year, so I have some lovely associations of that venue it was so stunning and just so such a lovely place to go and celebrate such an amazing milestone in victoria's career like it's just literally the most special evening wow i'm gonna wash my face hang on two seconds i think it might be a triple cleanse kind of night you know guys oh just make sure all of that makeup is gone. My skin is gonna hate me in the morning. Also guys, I just wanted to say, I know there's probably, I think there's been a video between the Jimmy Choo video and this one, but I did just wanna say, before I get too tired and I just can't speak anymore, I just wanted to say a big thank you for all of the lovely comments that you guys left on that vlog. They were literally the most wonderful, supportive, kind, caring comments and i just appreciate you guys all so much so many of them really made me smile some of them really made me laugh i just yeah really appreciate you guys and love you all so much and i also just wanted to say thank you for being so wonderful when i am vulnerable with you guys and when i tell you guys things that i think are going to make me sound really stupid um i always appreciate that so much that really i get so scared to like share things online but really you guys have never ever when i have done that met me with any negative responses and i really really appreciate that so thank you so much just realized i think this is on a wonk and that's gonna really annoy me so sorry if it's been annoying anyone else sometimes after years of like um some of the responses you get on the internet you just want to share less 
Um, but I think that's such a sad thing because it takes away from like the vulnerability, which is something that makes the community we have so wonderful. I wanted to say thank you because those lovely responses just really do help me um, feel more comfortable in sharing and it's also just lovely like I love chatting with you guys and feeling like you really get me and um, yeah it was just really nice to be able to share um, something like that and just feel like you got me and I really appreciate that so thank you so much so I'm gonna go and get into bed uh, just watch some TV just wind down have a nice little wind down I thought I'd show you the uh, room I'm in at the Kimpton whilst i'm here i love this hotel lots of you might remember i used to stay here like pre-covid pre-covid is that pre-lockdown it's gorgeous and i actually hadn't stayed here since i decided to book this hotel for uh this content because i just felt like especially if i'd have ended up in a ball gown i felt like this hotel is quite grand and suited the aesthetic whereas i prefer like other hotels if i'm doing more minimalist or more like edgier kind of things edgier things because i'm not edgy but i love the bathroom aesthetic of this hotel like the most it is so stunning and over here i've got this gorgeous bathtub through these doors i've got my little kardashians playing um i've got my bedroom so beautiful and then through here I have a really gorgeous little living room area which is where I've just dumped all of my stuff to be honest but yeah then there's the door and then there's a, a second little bathroom there which is great and um, yeah this is me looking a lot less glam than I did earlier the robe went straight on when I got in my feet are slightly broken now so <laughs> just in my little white company socks but yeah I'm gonna get into bed now with my snacks which as you can see are on my bedside table <laughs> Seriously though, vegan Marylands, just delicious. I'm gonna watch some TV now, do some editing, and then I'll catch up with you in the morning. Love you, night night. Good morning everybody. She is back in a hoodie. All is right with the world. I am still not over last night. It was so fun. I've just been looking back at the photos and there's some really fun ones of me and Vic, like just really, really cute photos. And definitely, I have a photo frame of us uh, from years ago, like in Marrakesh in 2019 in my kitchen. And I feel like the photo frame might need a little update um, because the pictures are just so cool. Maybe when I get my glam room, they can go in there, I don't know. Basically just uh, flicking through the photos and just feeling really emotional, like I feel so proud of her it's just such a magical moment for her and to be there and celebrate that with her was just gorgeous and i'm just so pleased for her like it's such an amazing campaign yeah i just love her so much um i feel like we've got really like we've always been we've known each other for years we've always been very close but like over the past couple of the years like i have really been like going through some stuff and just trying to like figure myself this lighting is terrible wow um just trying to figure myself out and she's really been there for me and i really appreciate that about her and i just love her so much um so yeah to be there with her celebrating just such a big career milestone was just so special so i'm very happy for her if you haven't seen the campaign definitely give it a watch because it's just so stunning and so special. Honoured to have been invited to get to wear her bestie gown. Like that's just, it was just so cute. Such a lovely evening. I literally had the best time. I slept like a baby last night, which is so rare. I never normally sleep well in hotels, but wow, I slept. I've slept last night. I fully like a rock. So yeah, I'm feeling okay today even though I drank quite a lot of tequila. The cocktails at that event, those tequilas, they were like cranberry tequilas. I need to learn how to make them. Um, and they had like a candy cane in them. Oh, it was delish. I think I'm gonna make those this Christmas. I normally do a cherry spritz, which is like amaretto, cherry juice, topped with Prosecco. Mm. Um, but actually I might have to do both this year because I, love tequila and they those drinks were great so had the best time but now i'm just getting a little bit of makeup on because one of you always sees me at the station and uh 
yeah no i think about it every time i go to the train station so i always have a little bit of makeup on because i feel self-conscious if i'm honest putting a little bit of mascara on uh got a little bit of foundation a little bit of brows and then i am going to get back home to ryan and shrimpy and just get ready for the weekend i've got a busy busy social weekend so yeah very excited for that i'm gonna finish this up now and then we'll get going today wow i feel as bad as i look to be fair i am just very very tired at the moment i just need like five minutes to recharge my batteries i think i didn't do much yesterday when i got home from london ryan and i just went to where did we go we went to brighton beach house for dinner which was so nice honestly it's like my favorite place to go for dinner at the moment they do like a really yummy um vegan pesto pasta so good my order is vegan pesto pasta fries broccoli and then the pudding is the vegan chocolate mousse and it is basically like it's almost more of a ganache i think i don't know much about cooking but it's what i'm gonna go with and it comes with raspberries a raspberry sorbet a honeycomb and it is just so yummy so so yummy so yeah we had a really nice date night which was very much needed because i've been away so much lately and he's away again tonight so i am on my own i am going to tonight's little shindig solo i'm just getting hair everywhere but also putting some of the kerastas oil look at how much i love this oil like there is like that much left i'm just putting some of this in my hair um, and I'm gonna let it sit for a bit whilst I do my makeup for tonight, which is gonna go in a different video, just because I really want to actually do a full, full start to finish, like, makeup look with you guys. I always start them in the vlogs and then it just gets way too long, loads gets cut out, like, it's just not really the right place for, like, a full um, detailed makeup look. So I'm just gonna do it on its own could be really old school hopefully you guys enjoy it so if you like the way my makeup looks today then go and watch that vid it might be up already it might be up in the next video i'm not 100 percent yet anyway so ryan is away tonight so date night very much needed just to actually be able to spend some time together he has got to work i have got a party that my dad is throwing to go to my sibling is going his girlfriend is going so basically be the three of us getting drunk in the corner i just need to get ready i am not fit like i just want to be in bed at this point <laughs> it's that time of the year where i want to hibernate i want to be in bed but it's all good one more and then i've got well i've got a brunch tomorrow as well and then i can semi-retire for the year retirement has never sounded so good today's glam i think i'm gonna keep it a little bit more simple and i'm gonna just do a really nice classic simple festive glam today nothing like super editorial or edgy because it's like a family thing that i'm going to I just i'm going for something quite like classic but still super chic i'm really excited to show you guys my outfit as well the one thing i can't decide on is my hair because the outfit is so classic that i'm like it's either straight or if i was going to like a work event it would be like slick back and straight like a wet look and i would be going full wet look for the whole thing but because it's like more of a classic very traditional normal family event i'm like mm, it's not the vibe um so part of me doesn't know whether to do like a slick back pony. I could go classic glam like Hollywood waves flipped over. Really not sure, but we're making a start by oiling the hair because I feel like the other night really dried it out, especially with all the curls um, at the front. So that's had like a nice amount of oil in it now, which is good. Yeah, I'm going to crack on and do my festive glam and I'll be back with you in a little bit. Hopefully by which point I will have decided what to do with this mess six hours later okay outfit of the evening glam is done i will link the tutorial if it's live if not it will be the next vid 
honestly who knows at this point this is my outfit of the eve also my room is looking a bit mad because well show me a girl whose room doesn't look a bit crazy after she's been getting ready in it you can't she doesn't exist i'm wearing this house of cb jumpsuit which i think is going to become like a go-to for me it is just the perfect evening jumpsuit for so many occasions it's really fab fits like a dream it's super comfy like these trousers have a little bit of like stretch to them it's got like boning here on this corset bit it's not just like a little bit of material it's like got actual like boning which i think is really cool and just gives a really amazing shape and structure to the top it's also like underwired here so it just is very very flattering and the shoulder straps are super flattering too they kind of like get smaller here and then a little bit wider up here and yeah it fits really well i do have to wear my highest heels with it i've got the ysl like platforms on with it god bless these shoes because they have really done me a solid the past couple of months i've really needed them and um, they are so high like if you see the photos of me standing on a ladder at the victor and rolf dinner just know i was standing on that in these i thought i might die but yeah that is the only way the length on these is okay and it is just about okay like most of the time it's literally just about skimming the floor please hold i look like i'm meant to be telling horror stories with this uh lighting situation but i got this jacket from zara a few weeks back and i thought it worked really nicely it's like a little cropped tuxedo jacket but it's got a really cropped back so and that's normally like the thing that i struggle with the most with cropped jackets is from behind i look very boxy and just not it's not flattering whereas this like crops so you can see my waist and then my butt whereas normally you can just see my butt um so yeah big fan of that so i could do this up to be honest i think that could be kind of cool it actually like sits in line with like there's a scoop shape here on the jumpsuit and it actually like lines up perfectly with that which is a bit wild it's like it was meant to be worn together um but yeah i don't know what do you guys what do you think what do you think i mean i'm gonna wear it anyway because it's cold but i just kind of want to know whether i'm wearing it done up it's kind of cool but it's very like i don't know it's a real vibe done up um i feel like it's meant to be the main event if it's worn like that but i really like it like this as well i love 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 it's got really big shoulder pads in it and it's like it properly juts out like my shoulders are like here and there's like a good centimeter more of like shoulder padding sticking out and i love that i love a big shoulder i think because i've got like wider hips big shoulder chef's kiss so yeah just quickly show you my makeup yeah this is the makeup as well obsessed with this eye look i haven't done like a smoky eye in the longest time i really like it and i've got individual lashes on as well i went all out 